is your technique for all the MMA workouts, right, Joel? That's right. That's yeah. why we do it, right? Feeling good? That's right. Great job. A few more seconds. We're going to get back into boxing balance, and Joel's going to take you into a new combination. Just a little bit. Dropping your shoulder down. See the shoulder drop? And then the hook. The hook is aiming for your opponent's jaw, right on the cheekbone, so then the heel comes up and you rotate through your hip. Step back, step forward, clinch, and pull again. Knee, step back, knee again. Great. So our hips are forward. We're really trying. Really think about keeping your eyes up, chest is up. And then we said before, you've heard it say a lot, draw a U shape. So what does that mean? That means your whole head. Draw a U. Now remember, we load the leg by switching our feet. So you want to keep your hips forward. We don't switch the position of our hips. We just switch the position of our feet. Your hike down from where you normally kick. So if you kick really high like Jericho does, that's awesome. But we're really focusing on extension and form right here. So think about a couple things here. Step in. Three, two, one. Up, up, down, down. Now remember with elbows, we have to create short, sharp points. The way to do it, keep the hand close, slip the hair back. So just think about pointing your shoulder to the front, to the front. Keep your fist high, elbows in. If you got to bend your knees, shift weight to the front, shift back to the back, to the front. We already talked about, you're normally kicking higher, once you kick lower. That means you're going to kick more in a circular movement, but lower. We've already done that, so that allows you to focus on using your hips. Breathe. What you're really going to enjoy about this one is the length that we can stay in these stretches. It's a little bit longer, so really enjoy them. Pull this down away from your ears. Separating your shoulder blades. You worked really hard over the week with all of your core force workouts. I was actively recovering, right? That's the idea, I think, right? So think about dropping it down, and you'll find that the more you do this, the more you get the flexibility. And sink down, nice. Ooh. Another one. So many awesome benefits to this workout. I, my favorite part, I think my favorite part is the technique that you get when you're just like, we thought that out. Yeah. You gotta learn how to feel your body working in the right way before you. I heard like a sigh from everybody just now behind me as we did this. You should have sighed too. Like, ah, I just got this little switch. Same move, other side. Three, two. Just go ahead and keep your foot planted. Switch to the other side. Get your balance. Usually, yeah, especially the dudes. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Angular eyes. Nice. But um, yeah, you might even have one leg that's a little less flexible. It's completely normal. So it's a great opportunity to just work on evening all of those things out. Or both of them. Fine with me. If you want to go a little bit deeper into the stretch, check out Jericho and Jess. Anybody else behind me is showing off. Good for you guys. I can't do it. This is my week. Keep breathing. How can that feel? Awesome. Should we really feel a nice opening here through your calves? Do you guys feel that? Great. Just relax your head and neck. You're welcome. <laughs> Stay down. Just breathe. You know, when you feel the tension, that's the most tension to the floor. Otherwise, you control. Come in at 90 degrees, and then just lower your chest down. The chest. And say hi to Sophie. Back to the head. Hi, Sophie. The head. Lifting the chest up. Now the chest is back in the head. Hey guys, I just finished up day 14 of Core to Force with Active Recovery. We are halfway through this program, I can't believe it. And today was the um, second time we've done Active Recovery, which is simply just a great low uh, speed technique work and then full 10 minutes of stretching. I cannot tell you how much I needed that stretch today, especially after in week two where the workouts have kind of progressed in intensity. Um, I was really looking forward to this workout today. I woke up, my back was a little sore, my hips felt tight, my shoulders felt tight, and this was like the perfect workout for today. So I was considering going for you know a short jog, but I think I'm gonna skip that and just let my body heal and recover like it's supposed to, according to the plan, and uh, hit it full steam tomorrow with rested muscles. Okay, you guys have a great Sunday, and I will see you tomorrow, bye.